Welcome to our channel Agriculture and Technology. In today's video, we are going to see how to grow cucumber in a greenhouse. Before, we proceed, if you are new to our channel please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notification whenever we publish new videos. Let's start in the gourd family, cucumber is a widely produced vegetable. It is a vine that crawls and bears cucumiform fruits. Vitamin K, flavonoids, and potassium are all abundant in cucumbers. Although officially a fruit, cucumbers are simple to cultivate in a greenhouse. How to grow cucumbers in a greenhouse? Sow the cucumber seeds in the closing three weeks earlier than the frost date so you can transplant them one week after the frost subsides. This is crucial because cucumbers are very prone to frost damage. Greenhouse heaters will help you reap the specified warm temperature your cucumbers need in the freezing period. This way you don't have to consider frost dates and are able to grow them all around the year. Growing cucumbers in pots are also great. Sow one seed per three inch pot. This gives them sufficient place for initial plant growth. Make certain you sow them in peat pots or a touch flower pot made of peat in which a plant can be raised and transplanted without having to be extracted due to the fact the root structures should not be disturbed. Three weeks after beginning the seeds, prepare a patch in or your greenhouse wherein you'll transplant the seedlings. Alternatively, you can transplant the seedlings into hanging pots or in growing bags the perfect spacing is 12 to 15 inches apart if you are transplanting them on the ground inside the greenhouse or on raised beds. Growing cucumbers on trellis promote extra aspect shoots and will create larger cucumbers. Support your cucumbers to climb and generate high quality yields. Guide the primary shoots to upward thrust using trellis. When they reach the edge of the trellis, take out the developing part at the top. Pinch the very last buds of the principal stem on the pinnacle of the trellis and leave three suckers to develop. Some common pests that attack cucumbers are white flies and cucumber beetles. The plant is vulnerable to diseases such as bacterial wilt, mosaic virus attack, and anthracnose. Signs of inadequate nourishment are yellow leaves, underdeveloped or failed to fruit. White flies are possible pests in the spring and summer months. Adults are obvious but detecting young larvae requires the help of the lens. The effectiveness of yellow sticky traps or biological control can also give huge help. Cucumbers require moderate watering. After the plants emerge, the appropriate amount of water per plant is about a gallon every week. Cucumbers thrive in neutral to light alkaline soils that range in pH from 6.0 to 7.0. However, the plants show tolerance even in soils that have pH levels nearing 7.6. A light liquid fertilizer twice a month or so will be beneficial once the fruits start to grow. For effective germination, the bottom heat of the sprouting medium should be about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Set a soil thermometer in the spot where cucumbers will be located. If the soil temperature falls under 60 degrees Fahrenheit, growth will cease and overall health will worsen. It cannot endure the freezing temperature. Cucumbers require lots of daylight so make sure you set your greenhouse package in any such way that it allows as a minimum 6 hours of direct daylight. Maintain a warm and humid interior by regular misting. You may have to screen your plants to guard them against scorching hot days. Or some shade is better. Keep your greenhouse cooler with these shade cloths. You can harvest 20 to 50 cucumbers per plant and start reaping your cucumbers approximately 12 weeks from planting when they reach between 6 and 8 inches. But again it is best to pick them while they are fresh preferably before they reveal indications of bearing seeds. Older fruits can grow bitter. Frequent harvesting will promote an endless yield. To harvest the ready fruits, cut them at the base using a sharp knife. An early morning harvest is advised while it is cold. The seeds are usable for 3 years or longer if properly stocked. Hope you're enjoying watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe.